That was where the bad men touched you, Drake. Am I impressed by these noodles? Make it a night of some trough liquor. Um, what are the grenade ranges? So, we are gathered here today to present this group in holy space adventure. Praise be. Alright, so, um, another session of Traveler. The last we let off, set off, the crew had recovered the ship, had some mechanical difficulties, um, came across a monitor and a tugboat that had been installed, boarded it to try and find some parts to fix their own ship, and discovered a Varger cooking in the kitchen because he thought it was going to be his last meal because him and his crew fought off some pirates but all of his crew were dead and the pirates were going to be coming back. Last Varger standing. Last Varger standing. Uh, you guys got together, helped him out, the pirates came back, you were able to fight them off, and uh, now you're going to make an arrangement to go to Collis with him because your jump drive doesn't work and his does and you're able to just park your ship inside the asteroid monitor ship and he's cutting you in on his partners his dead partners uh cut of the um of the job free loot so you arrive in Collis Collis is a planet that is four-fifths water there are a couple of large land masses and there's tons of islands um, there's like some of the islands are pretty big but they're more the long strip kind of islands the air is very thin here people who have not grown up here their whole lives typically have to wear um, breathers and some people who who even have lived here for a long time still have to wear um, masks and carry air supplies with them uh, it's very difficult to be active like if you if you walked a short distance like if you walked a mile just a casual mile flat ground not a pillar or something you would feel super out of breath by the time you were at the end of it what a perfect resort world where i don't have to talk to anybody because there's not enough air <laughs> beautiful beach i know sorry not enough air to respond great <laughs> uh you guys know a little bit about callus it's been kind of a big deal that Callus, which has been part of this barony for a while in this um, unaffiliated system, okay. recently declared for, by recently, like in the last 10 years, declared for the consortium. And that's one of the reasons they were bringing this asteroid monitor here. It was an official consortium naval vessel. Oh, which boy. You, <laughs> which you don't see too much out here on the rim. Drix, you've heard that there is a big scout presence out here you don't really know the details because you've never really served in this area and you know we don't know the everything about every little base that's around but you know there's a scout base out here so these are the people that are uh, in the rear with the gear or is this like frontier land what do you mean well so they've just called for or they just declared for the consortium so i guess they're they're coming into all the great stuff about being part of the consortium, but is that because they're like a border world? Like, are we we're kind of near? Are we near the As Aslans? Yeah. So right here, I oh, know we're not near that. No. At all. no, that was a whole different, whole different thing. Okay, whole different area of space. Oh, okay, which was kind of weird why you were so close to this space. Mm. You were close to that was the Trojan Reach. They're near that Trojan Reach. Okay, and you were on the edges. You were kind of in between the Trojan Reach and. The Spinward Marches was where you were found, and Yaz's ship was going into the Spinward Marches, so they just brought you with them. Okay. Um, so, Kalas is in an area that is unaffiliated, and they are in a the middle of a line of solar systems that connect the, the Gleason Sector, which is Consortium, with the Sisters, the Five Sisters Section which is where you guys were all living. And it's just, they're right smack in the middle of that, and they have a couple of uh, worlds that they've colonized in that line. So if it's called a jump one line, which means if those systems weren't there, you wouldn't be able to jump from one section to the other. If you have a jump one ship, you can go 
the sisters. Sh- you can sisters. shortcut across from Gleason to Sisters because there's this big area in the middle that the consortium doesn't control. Now, I certainly understand that I have Astrogation 1, but when I look at the star map, it just looks like a bunch of dots in a hexagram map. So I think that's where we get a little bit of that suspense of disbelief, right? Astrogation. Jeez. <laughs> Yes. Where, where are we going to that one other dot over there? Yes. How are we going to get there? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the computer will tell us. Press the go button. That's right. Yeah, there you go. That's right, the go button. Press the button. <laughs> Flying through space ain't like dust and crops. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yes, and everything, and everything is flat also. <laughs> That's right. The universe is flat. So Lawrence will tell you that Collis is a extremely dangerous place if you're on the surface. it's There's police forces and stuff. There's just a buttload of crime. Hmm. And okay. there's quite a bit of violent crime, and everybody's favorite targets are off-worlders. Oh, goody. Great. I'm glad I got, I'm glad I got a pistol. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's low law. People do walk around armed. Um, not typically, you know, they don't walk around with bandoliers and machine guns and stuff strapped to their backs. Um, usually a sidearm. It's not uncommon to see a, vis- a, a visual sidearm, but there's almost always somebody's got. Be prepared for somebody to be armed, even if they don't look armed. Okay. It's, Bring the knife. I tell you. Yeah. Uh, they have a, a Class B starport. There's a upper and lower port. The upper port is the spaceport the port that's actually in space, which is where he is taking the ship. And I don't know if I brought... I think those notes are in this notebook. (laughs) But anyway, the tug. He's pulling the tug in and the monitor into the upper port, and then the lower port is down on um, the surface. So there's one... The largest surface port is... uh, They have three surface ports. Um... The largest is in the capital city of Clarence, and the other two are in different places around the world. Clarence on Callus yeah. with Lawrence. Yeah. So am I going to have to move the ship, or can we keep it parked in the monitor? Uh, well, they're going to want the monitor, so no, so we're going to have to get a we're going to have to get a berth. Yeah. So uh, so you find the. You pull up, you see the space station. The space station is uh, shaped like this. Oh, mm. it's very space stationy. It is almost mm-hmm. like a like a giant boppet in space. Mm-hmm. And it's it's <laughs> humongous. It's like one of the biggest space stations you've ever seen. Ooh. Most of them usually have just the one ring um, where everybody docks, but this one you can see it's got the double rings. It's got this uh, kind of like bubble in the middle of it. Um, it's just there's hundreds of ships that are parked here. I want to roll to be amazed. Okay, sure. <laughs> That's a nine. You're not amazed. I'm not amazed. No. Oh, I'm bitter about the world. I've seen things, man. So in this look of this awesome giant floating platform, Drix, not impressed. <laughs> Just get through the motions. I just want to birth this baby. That's what I want. Drix is born on a consortium Independence Day. Listen, if I had shades, I'd be wearing them right now. So you, Lawrence, pull the ship in. Um, he docks at one of the rings. And he says, all right, I'm going to go and uh, make the report. So you guys, it took you like a couple more weeks to get here. Okay. Um what do you think you did during that time? Did you do any studying? Did you clean that ship? Lawrence was disgusted with the kitchen, so he cleaned the hell out of it. Ooh, nice. He spent two weeks, like, cleaning the hell out of it. I... And telling Pernicky to teach your dog not to shit in the kitchen. So I was working on training, because, yeah. And where is the dog shitting and pissing? Yeah, we're, we're going to have to have a designated prior spot Prior to that, for that, it was doing it wherever it wanted. Yeah, oh, no. and, yeah, like, have, like, a little grassy section where are we going to get the grass maybe a sandbox there's curb turds all over the ship (laughs) (laughs) 
I guess I'd spend maybe a couple of days complaining about that. Yeah. <laughs> So I'll, I'll, I'll definitely in that time be working on training right. her and studying and I guess cleaning as well. Cause Fixing the this ship. This is our ship now. <clears throat> Fixing right. the ship. So you said two weeks? Yeah. All right. I want to split that time. A week of cleaning, a week of studying. All right. So just mark down a week of study for whatever subject you're studying. Um, you can't have more than three points in anything. So she's appropriately... There's actually a limit on how many skills you have, period, but I haven't looked that up yet. Why? Yeah. Right. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll get that. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll do that some other time. All right. So you guys are in Collis. You're in this uh, Class B starport, which means you kind of get anything you want. And it's not just a starport. It's, it's like a place where people live and work. There's shops. It's and very companies. large. Yeah. It's well, just we're a, not even going on the we're not on the planet city. then. You're not even on the planet. Not even on the planet. No. Nope. Wow. Still not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Why we're not surprised? Yeah. On your trip, Florence also writes up a report, asks you guys for your input for what happened. You guys tell them everything that happened. You want to omit anything? Who's this report going to? Uh, it's going to his. It's going to his boss. It's going to the uh, the scout service leaders and it's going to the say no more drix bloviates on everything we literally say that entire village from that volcano from the pirate invasion that was coming out like stars for everybody all right years of making you all sound like you even as a team single-handedly saved the planet and the consortium. Thank you for your service. <laughs> okay. Right on. <laughs> I'll take it. All right. Sounds great. Sure, so, they kicked me out of university, but I know my way around some reports. Well, technically, you never made it into the university. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Lawrence is off to make his report and hopefully get your guys' money. Some uh, authorities show up, pick up the bodies. Oh, yeah. Um, who, who handled the bodies? Those were on the... Uh, yeah, those were on the monitor. Yeah, those were on the monitor. Oh, so that was Lawrence's and, problem. And, uh, yeah, he just left them there. He didn't care. <laughs> uh, he, just, he took care of his buddies. He put them in the fridge so they would keep... They're dead. Them. What do they need them for anyway? Hey, there you go. <laughs> All right. Space law. <laughs> they tell you you got two days to move your boat off the... Move your ship off the boat. We got two days. Hey, everyone, we have two days. Let's and, then, and then you'll have to, uh, you know, find a berth. Find a berthing and pay for a berthing on your own. Perfect. All right. You have to come into a, a, a central processing area for customs. There is a 30-day quarantine on any pets. So you, oh, cannot, you cannot bring Kimmy onto the space station at this time. So Kimmy's on the doghouse, pooping wherever she wants the to poop. The doghouse. The doghouse, my apologies. The doghouse. Yep. That's right. We put that the in the IFF, it sticks. What yep. are you guys taking with you onto the space station? Space station is not law, low law level. You cannot walk around. So we're not expected armed. to come armed. So I guess I would leave my. Can I bring my knife? Can I bring my dagger? Yes. All right. So if I can't bring my guns, I at least have my dagger and a little walk and a walk. I guess our money's electronic, right? So yeah, I mean, I always have my money, money varies from place to place. How it is some, and just because it's electronic, doesn't mean what you have in one bank on one side of the galaxies on the other. Um, so just because this, I have money in the first consortium bank doesn't mean the second consortium bank is going to abide by it. Oh, yeah, banks. or that they have that record. Records get transferred, but you know it takes a long time. Plus side, Collis is hard for the consortium. They take consortium bucks. Ooh. All right. And it's Class B, right? I mean, Class A is the biggest. Yeah. But Cla Class B... Yeah. Never seen bigger. Yeah. Not class a, a class A is not nearly size, it's their services they can provide. Oh, okay. Um, like this place can do up to like jump four repairs, I think. Ooh. So if you have a jump drive that's bigger than jump four, you wouldn't be able to get a repair here. Which okay. which we most certainly don't. Which <laughs> you do not. <laughs> what are we, jump two? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Alright, and outside the spaceport or outside customs is 
there is um, they don't have an X boat here, but they have like the same thing that goes between the edge of the Glisten and the Five Sisters world, just going uh, back and forth. Okay. And there's regular, you know, businesses like commuters and stuff like that, supply ships and whatever. So there's schedules for all the companies that provide shuttle services um, throughout the solar system, uh, up and down to the planet. And then there's a, another list, which is all the ships that are docked there. And these are like on monitors, like at the airport or whatever. The docking list is not quite as accurate because you know they can leave and come and go anytime you want. But you're supposed to you know file flight payment plans and get places to dock and whatever. So you know if you just wanted to see who was in port, what ships were in port, you can just also look at that list mm. too. Well, have we been out of contact kind of with the greater world? Oh yeah. Oh, then I would say uh, I would definitely want to. If there's any repairs that we couldn't do on the ship, I'd like to get that covered. And I'm interested in what what you two want to do with your two days. I say definitely do not get as drunk as you did on the other stations that we've been on. No trough liquor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I asked what you wanted to do, not what you were telling me not to do. <laughs> Tricks oh. continued unimpressed. <laughs> what... Uh... What what uh, is on the space station for us to occupy ourselves with for two days? Everything, everything. Yep, everything. Movie theaters, miniature golf, brothels, stores. And for those listening at home, those are houses of ill repute. Yes, ill repute, <laughs> where a gnome can get their consortium washed. Right. You can find oh you can find yourself some pro skirts. Bro. Oh, <laughs> These I, pipes are clean. Are clean. <laughs> exactly what you want to be a corporate shell. Yeah. Right? For only two bucks a month. For only two bucks <laughs> a month. You too can be in a house of ill repute. Right? Yeah, there you go. Good plug. Man, I'm really liking this class B lifestyle. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> so so like we were saying. I will saying. not be in the, in the house. <laughs> <laughs> So no trough liquor, <coughs> no bordellos. All right. So we know what Pernicky doesn't want to do. Yes. Well, I think uh, you've all been cooped up far too long. I know. On this ship, you have all this choice. You don't know what to do. Well, I'm going to go find myself a still. If I got two days to kill, I'm going to go find myself a still. Nice. Okay. I mean, why go back? Why go all the way back home to get mine when I, I can just get one here? You try a little local brew. I think, yeah. I think you need to get parts to build a still. Okay. A still is made of parts. All right. Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't think nobody's selling a still. Hey, I'll tell you what but, Drix is always for. Yaw's making a still on the doghouse. Right. We can have some doghouse brew. You know what? I wanted to spend two days coming here talking about that with Yaw's. <laughs> <laughs> Yaw's, tell me about this local brew stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. So Yaz is shopping. Is anybody going to go with Yaz? Uh, do I have any... Do I have a shopping list for the ship? Is there anything that, you know, I would like to fix? I mean, of course, it's easy to say I want the best you ship need, ever. You need but a new mattress. I do, I do need a new mattress. Yeah. You know what? We need some... <laughs> we need to make the ship a little bit more homely. It's yes. clean, sure, but it's right. empty. Yeah, so a new mattress. We maybe uh, something so that Kimmy doesn't make. Uh, well, as, as as I'm still training her, but so that she has somewhere uh, uh, her own bed and then somewhere to You're right. go to the bathroom. In you know. There we go. Everything. So we're so, going shopping so we're for going, Kimmy. Yeah. And we're going shopping for our, ourselves. Mat- yeah, and a new yeah. mattress. <laughs> All right. So uh, I want to go to the space bed, bath, and beyond. All right. Um, so you're going to just get base, basic housekeeping equipment. Yeah. Just is some nice drapes for the windows. You know, I'm sure we're going to need some toiletry. Your items. only windows are the ones you look out when you're on the bridge. Well, what are those so little? So maybe some those little drapes. How about a some, little art? Some little yeah, art there we go. The, yeah. That's right. So it's just not 
All right, so you want some so cleaning stale. gear. It's so stale, you're right. Some cleaning gear, a doggy bed. And, and some type of, I don't know, you have to come with some, maybe, I don't know if a... God, we need food and provisions. Um, we need a general store. Some type, like those those grass mats, like those those plastic okay. grass mats or something that the, the little dogs go to the bathroom, but a bigger People, people one. put on their balconies and stuff like right, that. Right, right. What's the equivalent of the consortium's big box store? I should say, what is the consortium's big box store? And is there a branch on this yeah, station? The Gnomes Club. Is there a the Gnomes Club? <laughs> Let's go to the Gnomes Club. We go to the Gnomes Club. You can find... <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Gnomes Club. I love you. <laughs> Help you find anything today? All right, you guys You guys find... Um, you all can the... find some bell art. That would be wonderful. Some bell art. I'd like yeah. it. So you guys yeah. find um, everything you need. So you want Sweet. you want stuff to clean up with. You want new bedding. You want a doggy bed. You want a place for doggy to poop. Feel like we he's need more, to give her a new bowl, Feel too. like he's new to home. A new mm -hmm. bowl. You want any like books or? Maybe we should get some like games and stuff oh too. My. Like when we're God, we are doing a hardcore a shop and yeah. drinks is in. If you guys right. games books, restock the ship's library, which can consist of real books and electronic books and whatever. And who that reads gi real that gives books? you a plus one to your rolls when you're uh, making your roll to see oh. if, you, if your studying worked. Alright, let's do it. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. I'm I'm all about plus ones. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want to go down a time shopping list, so let's just say you spend four K. And And we found a beautiful picture of some bells, a bell display oh, um, yeah. hang up. Okay. Oh, I like yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> Did I find my still parts? Yeah, you got your still parts, okay, cool. everything four K. Four K. And if as long as it's uh as long as you don't say you Pull something out that sounds unreasonable. Just kind of assume you got it. Oh, uh, with the uh, yeah. that that ship hold feature they have, where I mean, as long as it's general goods, our ship has it. Oh, the tool, the tool. Yeah, you want to re resupply the workshop? Yeah, I guess that would be it because yeah, that's really that. everything we. Need. So, like in the rule book, uh, they have that kind of general all-purpose, like the rebreathers. Or the respirators, or a knife. Yeah, we do need to get all those, and you know what? We need to get so, some. Uh, I want to get some so, masks and stuff for. Yeah. Our two new uh, companions. Two, you know, companions. masks. You know, oh, masks. Yeah, yeah like respirators have... and things like that. Okay. Because we so, have three. I had. I got three to have. You want to go for the dog? Us. Yeah. Why not? I mean, She'll come on an she is our too. space veterinarian. All right, that's a yeah. specialty item that's going to cost you like okay. 500 credits. Okay. Ooh. And drop another three grand to outfit the workshop if that's what you want to do. Yeah, well, I mean, that way we're going to have this ship. We're going to have, oh, God, at least 10 more weeks out before we get to Flammarion, right? So let's just make sure that, I mean, as long as we're not getting attacked by something special, I mean, we're going to be okay. Yeah. Remember, you're out of sandcasters. Oh God, you're right. Oh my gosh, that's not something you can just buy, though. You gotta go to scout service to get that. Ooh, if you want to replace that? Well, I would. Well, it wouldn't hurt to stop off at the scout service. I mean, I have to put out a message. We we've been out of contact for weeks, so I guess after the shopping, or if uh, you have, uh, if Pernicky has to go to some specialty shop. If mm -hmm. she doesn't need me, then I could go check in at the scout okay. service. All right. Y'all, does it sound good? Yeah. Okay. Who, who would you like to go with, if anyone? Or are you going to go back and start brewing oh. or drinking? Well, we got to take the stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming we've, we're, we've already taken the stuff back to the ship. We've done our big shop shopping montage. Okay. Yeah, pretty much takes you to the day. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm, yeah, I think I'm going to stay there and build my still. Nice. All right. Where so an all-day shopathon. Where are you gonna build it? Uh, in the cargo bay. Okay. Yeah. Maybe the workshop. Well, there's not enough room in a workshop for a still. Very small workshop. That's pretty. That's a pretty big ship. It's not, um, it's not a tiny ship. 
Well, we already have Kimmy's little spot probably in the cargo hold, right? Yeah. So we have a little Kimmy corner. And now we have a, a Yaz corner. Next to the beer. Next well, to the beer. Well, I mean... I picture Kimmy sleeping in one of the rooms. Well, yeah. I could... Yeah. yeah. And if we don't have the, any... the PM could also be in the, the bathroom area for us we, as well. If we don't if, have any probe drones, I can build <laughs> yeah. it where they keep the probe drones. Okay. On the main deck. Uh, that's right. <laughs> oh, launch the probes. No, not not two, just four. Want... That's my still. Oh, no. You're going to build it in a tube. Carry oh. less probes. This is a probe IPA. So, <laughs> so our shopping excursion split three ways is 2500 Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's skip to the next day. Unless you guys want to do something naughty that night. I do. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, when I, I want to go to the scout service, check in, let them know where we're at, and see if I like have any messages or anything. Okay. If I don't, well, there's an office on the station, but it's closed when you get there. Oh, of course it of is. Of course. When did they, they open the next day? Yep. It's your 800. Zero eight hundred. Oh, that's really early. <laughs> that's eight a.m. for Brittany. Okay. <laughs> well, if I uh, go back to ship and Yaws is uh, about to party, Drix is about to party too. Okay. Brittany, you in? Make it a night of some trough liquor. Someone has to keep you boys in line, so. Oh yeah, <laughs> evening party. <laughs> on the. Uh, oh wait, what's the station called? Sierra Three. Sierra 3. Sierra 3. Outside Colette's. Sorry, officer, I forgot where my ship was. I'm birthed in the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> Not something you say every day. That's right. <laughs> Did you say you burped? Birthed. Oh. That was saying barfed. Bar- I barfed in the monitor. Well, <laughs> somebody did. <laughs> I'm sure of that. You tell me how the night went. <laughs> uh, it went well. Nice. Lawrence takes you to a club. A lot of Varger there. A few Oslan are there. Ooh. Gnomes are there. Dashini are there. It's got some like uh, electronic music. Which is what the kids like. You, which is what the kids like. He wears he wears earplugs. Has some booze. Uh, nobody tries to rob you or mug you. Well, that's good. That's great. Ain't nobody. That's good. That's. <laughs> It's always nice to have a party where they're not mugging you. True. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, nothing, nothing noteworthy happens there. Okay. All right. All right. Day two, a nice morning together, putting up some of the new stuff, sleeping on a new mattress. Woo! Right. Well, I mean, Drix is done being here. He's ready to get to Flammarion, so. Same here. I'm, I'm ready to. There's no reason. I mean, we got everything we need, right? Yeah. Taking think, care yeah. of business. You've checked in. Is well, I guess it would be checking with Lawrence, right? What's Lawrence doing? Yeah. So breakfast conversation with Lawrence. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, collect the uh, collect the funds, collect the bill today. Uh, everything's expected to be signed off by the local authorities. I'm just waiting for that. I'm gonna put my notice in with the company. Wow, so you're gonna be a free agent then? Yep. Have we talked? Have we talked to Lawrence previously about joining? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Least... Yes. If you can join up. Okay. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, maybe, maybe we should have that conversation. <laughs> we should. We should. <laughs> well, once we get our money, there's no reason for us to be here anymore, so we get the hell out of here. Yeah. Hey. So I'm gonna go check in at the scout service, let them know that we're coming, and uh, well. Ship looks nice. Right? (laughs) Ship looks nice. (laughs) Ship looks better. (laughs) Ship looks better. (sighs) Still got wiring and stuff. Okay. It looks nice. We needed to buy more (laughs) panels. This ship needs more panels. How how early are you going to the uh, place? Oh, God. Well, we're with a bunch of responsible former business owners and scientific professionals we probably woke up in an early time so probably i'm gonna guess it's probably past eight that's when i stroll on down with scout 
office. All right. Anybody going with him? I'll go. More than We're invited to. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna take a little stroll down the space the Space Avenue. Might See as what well. your life is all about. Ooh, nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, you go back to the offices. You go into the the door opens. It's um, a wide lobby. It's kind of full of people. Some people are in uh, scout uniforms. Um, there is a secretary at a desk. Am I impressed? Can I roll to be impressed? Roll, roll to be impressed. Do you want to be impressed? Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'd say St. Drix wants to be impressed. Yeah, it's a, little, hey, it's a little bigger than you thought it would be. I want to know if these scouts are ironing their shirts and if they got some discipline and order. Oh, you'll be impressed by the scouts. Six. Six? Um, you're moderately impressed. So there's some iron shirts out there. There's some iron shirts. Oh, good. <laughs> Listen, you having your shirt freshly pressed is a very important part of the scout service. You never know who you're going to run into. Yeah, you never know but who's going to capture you. Wrinkly shirt. What is this? A, <laughs> an amateur hour? <laughs> All right. I was going to be in proper uniform and no Riker beards. That's right. <laughs> But then I'm not in anymore, so I guess I could have a Riker beard. Yeah, you could. You got a mohawk. No, I do have a mohawk, <laughs> so I'm, I'm coming in a little saucy. Well, I've reported to the secretary to let her know that I want to use their trans system message beacon thing. Uh, what is this about? Official scout service. I give my identification. <laughs> she looks at your ID and is like, well, that's very nice, sir, but can you tell me what it is you need? So I can put you in touch with the right people. Oh, uh, checking in with the office at Flammarion uh, that I've acquired uh, the high and dry and will be returning in, what is it, 10 weeks? However long it takes us to get back there. Okay. She uh, looks at her computer, types in her, what is, how do you spell your name? It's uh, B-L-O-M, Blom. Hmm. Well, if you don't mind waiting a few moments, I think maybe the uh, Scoutmaster would like to speak to you. Well, okay. Okay. Hold on just a second. Yeah, it's kind of oh, does some uh, typing. At the name Scoutmaster. <laughs> Scoutmaster. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. You got free coffee? Yeah, there's coffee there. Okay, we're going to be over there. Tricks, go get some free coffee. <laughs> you can always tell a good scout station by the coffee that they put out. There's some muffins, too. Oh. Speaking this of coffee, place is very classy. You have to wait about ten minutes. Oh God! Well, I have a and muffin, so it's okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> a gentleman comes out. He is uh, very clean cut. His hair is blue, but it is regulation. Mm, perfect. And he's like Dirk's Blom. I give him a casual tilt of my head as acknowledgement that I'm Dirk's Blom. Okay. You know that whole. Yeah, I lift got my it. head up, sort of thing. Hey, I'm a uh, Scoutmaster Davis. Come on back. Oh yeah, who are these people? It's my crew. Um, yeah, they can wait outside. Come on. Do you have a How do you like lounge that? or suite for them to stay in? Yeah, there's chairs all over the place. Perfect. I go with him. I found the coffee pot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drink all the coffee. <clears throat> it's good. <laughs> well, <laughs> technically, you're paying it with your space taxes, so it is your coffee. It is. <laughs> <laughs> he brings you down to a room. It's a, a very large office. He's got a desk. There's a window behind him. You can see the sphere of Callus drifting off into the, the distance as the station turns, going going out of view of the window. That sounds very impressing. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. You want am to roll for it? Am I am? I want to know if this impresses me. Four. Yeah, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm impressed. Perfect. You know that's going to become a, ma- a meme, right? Yes. Yeah. Roll to be impressed. Roll to be roll impressed. Roll to be impressed. <laughs> impressed. <laughs> so, uh, Scout Second Class Drix Blom. He's looking at his computer. You have a, a very interesting career here. Um, Thank you. So what is it that you needed to... Uh, see us about well i've been out for more than 10 weeks with my mission we've acquired and i'd like to report back so they know or they expect that we're coming you have a mission i did it's my understanding that you've been deactivated well when you 
I mean, I don't even know how to answer that. How would I answer that? What was the dude's name that gave us the mission to go get the go get the I, ship? I can't remember. I don't remember his name. I know. Damn it's, you and your multiple notebooks. I know. It's wait. What's what's Drix's in? It's twelve. Drix would know. <laughs> Drix would know, even if the player doesn't know. But he was the station chief, so I guess the Flamarian station. I would. Drix would say the Flamarian station chief uh, sent me to acquire the high and dry. Um, and it's my ship for services previously rendered. Oh, okay. So you're sent from Flamarian to pick up the ship. Where's the ship? Would I feel abnormal? Or would I feel that this is, I don't know, a tense situation? Like, why wouldn't the yeah. Scoutmaster know that? Ooh, man. See? That's what happens when you're in ten weeks in space. You trust no one. <laughs> I guess then Drex would probably say... Well, wouldn't that be on your computer there? Well, I have here that I have your record. Um, I have a record of a crew that was in possession of the high and dry and is now wanted for conspiracy to defraud the government, stealing from the government, and rabble-rousing in general. And now here I have a crew of three people in my office. Who say they are in possession of the high and dry. It's true. There was a little rabble-rousing before we showed up. You're on your own, man. Yeah, you, I'm drinking what are coffee. Your, what are your crewmates' <laughs> names? I'm drinking all the coffee. Ooh. I guess that's... Ooh. Do I have, like, intimidate or survival? Do you have oh, no. You know, I don't no, think... I don't think... You know Smarty Pants. You haven't actually told him what your mission was. <laughs> I thought I did. No, you just said you're on a mission. I said to get the high and dry and turn it back into Flamarian, didn't I? Well, then I'd say, well, this is all part of uh, what was already known as why my crew was sent to pick up the ship. If we can get a hold of the station chief in Flamarian, all this will check out. Are you saying you have a letter of designation for the high and dry? Yes. Do you have it on you? It's on the ship. Why would I carry something like that around? Oh. You always keep that with the ship. Well... Why don't I have somebody escort one of your friends back to the ship to get the letter and then bring it back? How about I get my phone call to Flamarian first? Can't just call you... a planet on the other side of the... We can't? The rift. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I would say Drix would be quite animate that he would like to have his message set before uh, you know, a bunch of people are start walking around his ship. Well, well, scouts kind of, or no scouts? So what kind of message do you want sent? It would just be a general status report to let them know that we had found the ship, that uh, it's functional, if not stripped bare, no report of the crew that was there, and we have a dog. Oh, and also, of course, we single-handedly saved an entire planet from an exploding volcano. Yeah, you know, just yeah. the small little things. The small things. Okay. Well, why don't you uh, sit here and write your report and suppose somebody go gets your letter. That that sounds very scouty, and I agree. Okay. Who are you going to send? Oh, well, I guess, uh, or am I free to go? Is no. this guy, like, following me and tracking me? No, you're not free to go. Oh. Well, I got to talk. sit in his office and write the report. You're being I, detained. Okay. Be... It's like, well, i got to go talk to my crew then and let them know what's happening. You just tell us who, tell me who you want to see, and I'll send somebody to bring them in here. Oh, well, then you bring them both in then. Okay. <laughs> All right. So somebody comes out, and looks like they're looking for somebody, and then they look at you guys they wave you over okay i refill my coffee cup and head over there <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> don't forget a muffin oh yeah grab a muffin too <laughs> right can you uh, guys come with me please sure all right all right she takes you down the, the aisles and you come into the office the big office with the, the beautiful view and drix is sitting there with the scoutmaster going on drix this desk jockey over here is trying to say that we're the crew that messed up the doghouse. Sounds like he's grasping for straws. Definitely grasping for straws, but they want uh, to escort you back to the ship to get the, the declaration we were given in Flamarian. All right. You, what, you want to go, Pernicky, or want me to go? I guess we can go. All right. I'm going to sit here and send in my report, and then we should... Uh, Probably heading out pretty soon. If okay. you get my drift. 
I do. <laughs> okay, so the lady brought you in is going to take you back to the boat. Okay. Do you tell him? Do you tell him where it is? Oh, he knows where the boat is. Oh, the declaration. <laughs> it's in my stuff. <laughs> okay, so go look okay. right stuff. So I guess Vinicky and I are both going to go. It's with the bows. All right, so I guess you and I are both going to the ship. Okay. Oh. All right. Cool. Is, cool. That, is that where okay. we're going? Okay, with his bells. Sure. So, it's with the bells. All right. Okay. All right. So, while they're gone, you write your report. Yeah. Um, when you're done writing your report, he has somebody come take you to get fingerprinted. Oh. And then, and swabbed. <laughs> oh, no, he swabbed me. And he oh, <laughs> brings no. back. Oh. All, all standard scout practice. And then he sits you in a waiting office for a while. Show us where the bad men touched you, Drix. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, you guys go back to the boat. You find his paper without any problems. Okay, cool. And Do then, you guys go uh, into the, to the boat with us? One of, just, one of the scout people. Just one yeah. of the scout people. Okay. Yeah. Wait, so, you didn't jumper? No. No, no. Just, no? just curious <laughs> okay. on how, no. how they're doing this if they're like having a whole no. slew of people or if it's just one. Like, the thought had crossed my mind. But yeah. yeah. Right. How, <laughs> how much right. is the man watching us? If you guys aren't going to jump her or anything, uh, nothing exciting happens. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, we're in the right, so right. I mean, you bring the paper back. <laughs> All right, Dritz, like an hour later, the door to your waiting room opens, which isn't technically a cell. It's got a comfy chair in it. Oh, that's nice. In a bathroom. Oh, that was even better. <laughs> and uh, I had a lot of coffee this morning, right? So the, <laughs> the lady who left with them is uh, now there. I mean, she's a, she's a scout. She's in uniform. And she's like, you can come with me, Scout Drix, Scout Blob. Scout Blob. Um, takes you back to the, the Scout Master's office and uh, sits you down. I try to look like this is a great inconvenience to my time. Okay. You want to roll for that? Sure, I'll roll for that. Seven. He doesn't six. Care. Six. He doesn't care. Okay. <laughs> this isn't his first desk job. Can't <laughs> <laughs> be a jockey. Hey. He's got a very excellent <laughs> station, by the way. And, uh, yeah. So he says, Mr. Blom, sorry about the uh, inconvenience, but, you know, we can't be too careful about what, about uh, who gets their hands on our inventory, and, you know, communications get quite delayed. Um, your ID checks out, your letter checks out, and I read the uh, report that was submitted about your uh, picking up the ship on Walston, and the rescue of the monitor. Heroic rescue. Heroic rescue, if you say so. And uh, we'll have to send, everything seems to be in line. We'll have to send word to um, Flamarian just to double check that everything's kosher, which will take a couple weeks, take a few weeks. Um, in the meantime, I feel comfortable offering you the services of our shipyard and we can start the uh, repairs. I'll have to get in touch with our unit to see when they could start, but I don't see any reason why we can't start the repairs here at our shipyards here instead of flying you all the way back. If that the ship's in bad condition as, it, as you are, you need a jump drive and stuff. Um, I mean, by time, even if your story doesn't check out, I mean, we got to fix the ship anyway, so. Well, you know, the things they said about the Sierra 3 station is true. Good quality service. Thanks, Station Master. Scout Master, he's not in charge of Station. I know what I said. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> he smiles a little bit and says, all right, well, I'll contact you in a... Uh, well, you can go down there now. So tomorrow, why don't you go ahead and take your ship down to the uh, shipyard on the lower port, and um, we'll get some guys in there. It'll take a couple of days to see how long it's going to take to fix, but we'll get some guys in there. And uh, get the get the word to you. My uh, my crew's gonna need access to the ship, and anything that's gonna be done, the ship has to go through my engineer. Well, we'll keep them in the loop, but I think perfect. We know what we're doing, and uh, we'll get to uh, that scout service in in the just, Imperium. Just get me their names, and um, we'll get some visitor badges for them. They perfect. can have temporary access to the base. All right, I'll talk to you second check. Yes, talk to the secretary. Trix just leaves. All right. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> that absolute stuff. He's out. All right. Well, then I make sure that everyone 
on the crew is going to get access to the ship while it's in the station. And uh, as long as I'm not, like, getting any bad vibes of getting followed or something, I'm going to go back to the crew and let them know that it looks like we may be here for a few weeks. Ooh, but the good news is they're going to fix the ship here so we don't have to hope the jump drive makes it all the way back to Flamarion. So we'll give and take. Hey, you know, make it work. Okay. Are we going to expect any trouble from the from the scout service? What kind of trouble? Well, I mean, sure, it's their ship. Do they have, like, a process? I mean, we've been kind of moving on our own, but now they're going to be, uh, well, I don't know, kind of officiating stuff. Oh, I mean, the ship's really not going to be accessible for living while it's under repair, so you'll have to find some place to stay. Mm. Mm. What about Kimmy with the quarantine? They have places they can put animals. That kennel. <laughs> oh. So we're kenneling Kimmy. That better than quarantine, I think. Better than quarantine. They're going to do the same thing in quarantine. <laughs> They're still going to put her in the kennel. Yeah. Well, the kennel's in quarantine. <laughs> ah, the quarantine it's kennel. It's one, okay. one in the same. All right. Poor Kimmy. Brinicky is showing a Alone, so she face of resolve. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, we got a couple weeks. Lawrence says that he's going to stay on the station because he's got to take care of his goods and all that stuff. Okay. Oh yeah, how his he says, uh, he says he can, he says you can hang at his place. It'd be it'd be crowded, but if you guys need a place to stay, hey, okay. Sweet. If you didn't want to, you know, stay on the surface or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it, it might be inconvenient to shuttle back and forth every couple days to the station or whatever. Also, station more expensive than the surface. <laughs> Makes sense. True. Yeah, I can see that. Do I get any scout discounts? At any local establishments. No. Aw. Man, thank you for your service, yeah. huh? Don't have don't have Sierra an active don't have an active card, man. No, but you're not retired. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I didn't retire, I just separated. Been retired. No. But you're not retired. Oh no. <laughs> I'm a free trader with Persuade. Ooh. I, I might be able to get us a deal. Ooh. But I mean, we already got offered Lawrence's place, so I said we probably just take him up on that. From one dog house to another. Oh, that was really uncalled for. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was that was pretty intentional, Drix. <laughs> oh, all right. Listen, I didn't choose the scout life. The scout life chose me. <laughs> all right, Lawrence, guys. Lawrence gives us his house, and you call him a dog. Yeah, I know. Drix, Drix got issues. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the next day, you guys need to move the uh, ship. Okay, but you got a place to move it to, and that's kind of really and all that. And that brings us to the end of episode 8. Other than a brief moment of mistaken identity, things are looking up for our travelers on Sierra 1. But what awaits them on the surface of Callus? Find out in our next episode. Like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the action. Find us on iTunes. Drop us a review if you have time. Thanks again for exploring with us. Base out!